Loss of the 2015 presidential poll and hostile parliament stalled the implementation of the 2014 National Conference Report. Former President Goodlucky Billy Jonathan has explained. The former president gave reasons his administration jettisoned the implementation of the report at a public presentation of a book in Abuja yesterday, titled The National Conversation, a chronicle of the activities of the 2014 National Conference. The book was written by Akbande James and Sam Akbe. Dr. Jonathan defended his administration through former secretary to the government of the Federation, SGF, and one-time Senate President, Senator Ayin Pius, who stood in for him at the book launch. He said those blaming him were either playing politics or ignorant of the political environment at the time, as well as the length of time it would take to implement the report of a conference of that magnitude, the former president said. Whenever people say that I should have implemented the recommendations, my feelings is either those people did not understand the political environment at that time, the length of time it would take to implement the report of a conference like that, or probably just playing politics with such an important matter. Those knowledgeable about the process of constitutional reforms will know that to implement the CONFAB report, several alterations will be made in the Constitution which would require the involvement of the National Assembly and the State Assemblies. Such elaborate review couldn't have been possible at that time because by the time the report was submitted in August 2014, we were already in the verge of a general election. It is also important to point out that at that time, the Speaker of the House of Representatives, Right Honorable Aminu Wazari Tambua, who was a member of my party, the People's Democratic Party PDP, had already moved out with some members to the opposition party. That meant that a reasonable part of the National Assembly was anti-government. When you know that your parliament is under that kind of situation, it would have been imprudent on my part to take such a precious document, which I consider as crucial to our development earnings, to a parliament that would not give it due consideration. If we had a tax that would require the alteration of the constitution, enactment of new laws, and the amendment of some existing ones, there was no way that could have been done overnight. We were also fully aware that for the segment of our population that were already suspicious of all of the actions of government, our intentions could have been misread, especially against the backdrop of the ECOWAS Protocol on Constitutional Reforms, which states that no substantial modification shall be made to the electoral laws of member states in the last six months before elections. He also attributed his inability to win the 2015 general elections to the non-implementation of the report. He said, when I contested the 2015 election, I expected that I would win a second term within which period I would have worked for the implementation of the CONFAB report. I felt that within the next four years mandate, the first two years would have been dedicated to implementing a reasonable part of the recommendations. Jonathan, who said that the essence of the 2014 CONFAB was to encourage a healthy conversation among the populace, address the queries agitating the minds of Nigerians and mend fences where possible, lamented that most issues are being politicized at the detriment of national development. He said, if we take politics out of our national calculations, we would all agree that with a fresh government, it would have been easier to achieve the implementation of the report. One of the problems of this country is that we like playing politics with things that have very much to do with the national interest. We play politics with our security. We play politics with our economy. We play politics with almost everything. This is not the way to go if we must make progress in realizing our national aspirations and goals. He then pleaded with Nigerians not to play politics with the 2014 CONFAB report, insisting that at the appropriate time, the country, through a dedicated parliament, would do the right thing. And the right thing is to duly and dispassionately consider the report of the conference to implement the recommendations for the good of the country.
Good luck, Jonathan, is giving reasons, justifying the reasons why he did not implement the 2014 CONFAB report. And um, we know before now, he's been criticized that um, he didn't do that deliberately, that this report was prepared, it was ready, but he just kept it under his table and um, it was never opened. But right now, contrary to all of um, those uh, uh, um, speculations or those um, talks, that came about to confirm he's explaining what truly went down that the election was just around the corner and um, part of the assembly um they they had already moved to another party they've moved ship the house was no longer united and that he foresaw that if he had brought out that um, 2014 confab to the house that it would not be given seriousness that um all of the things outlined in there would not uh, be given due attention as such, he thought to keep it aside. And also, uh, with the um, constitution of the ECOWAS, that no changes should be made six months before an election. That ECOWAS protocol on constitutional reforms, it states that no substantial modification shall be made to the electoral laws of member states in the last six months before elections. Well, as good as all of um, these his, um, reasons, explanations, and justifications are, you know, Nigerians are still fought in it that if all of this had been done in time before that um, 2015 election, that uh, what we are facing right now would not be facing them. Jonathan knows very well that uh, the, the challenges the country is facing right now is as a result of bad leadership, bad government, because we know he mentioned that uh, what is going on right now is that um, uh, politics is the order of the day that um, the government currently plays politics with the security situation with um, the economy with literally everything and in such a situation you can't um, there, there will be no growth because um, it's all about personal interest he also gave reasons a bit of reasons why he lost the 2015 election that he felt that it was as a result of him not implementing this 2014 confab that that affected the outcome his performance in the 2015 um, general election, that his plans were that um, if he had won the election, that the first two years of his four-year term, his second uh, uh, term, that he would have made a lot of changes. Who knows, uh, probably by now, all of um, these uh, challenges the country is facing, the, the insecurity, all of these things, maybe they, will, uh, they would have not been uh, and there. Anyway, guys, um, this is Jonathan's reasons. It's possible that um, some other persons might come up that, no, that's not correct, that's not true, but this is what he has stated. Leave us your own take. Thank you once again for staying tuned. Um, please don't forget to like, share, and to subscribe. To, like, come your way again with more updates. Bye.